July 26. On this day we keep the memory of the Holy Virgin and Martyr Paraskevi of Rome. The Holy and Great Martyr Paraskevi was born during Adrian's reign in a village near Rome, being the daughter of Ag Agathon and Politeia, Christian parents who for many years had asked the Lord for a child. God, who always fulfills the desires of those who fear him, gave them a daughter whom they named Paraskevi, both because she was born on a Friday and from devotion to the life-giving passion of our Lord Jesus Christ. From earliest childhood she consecrated herself entirely to the things of God. Feeling no attraction for childish games, she spent all her time either in church, being present at the offices, or at home, praying and meditating on the Word of God. She was twelve years old when her parents died, and she distributed their great wealth to those in need, and she took the veil, a sign of her consecration to God. After passing some time in complete submission to her abbess, being desirous of sharing the treasure of the faith with others, she left the monastery and went through towns and through villages proclaiming the name of Christ. Through her proclamation, she brought many pagans to their true faith and aroused the hatred and the jealousy of the Jews who denounced her to the ruler of the region in which she found herself. The ruler immediately ordered the arrest of this noble Christian and had her brought before him. When he saw her, he was overcome by her beauty and quickly tried to win her over through flattery saying, If you let yourself be convinced by my words, and if you agree to offer sacrifice, you will receive great wealth. But if you persist in your stubborn refusal, know that I shall hand you over to terrible tortures. The frail young girl replied to him with a viral boldness, I shall never deny my most sweet Jesus, and no torture could ever separate me from his love. For Christ said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. As for your gods, who made neither heaven nor earth, they shall perish from the earth and from under the heavens. The king's anger was inflamed, and he gave the order to his soldiers to place a red-hot helmet on the saint's head. Covered in dew like the three young men in the furnace, Saint Paraskevi felt no suffering. Her breasts were cut off, and she was thrown into prison with a heavy stone on top of her wounded chest, but was healed by an angel who appeared in a great earthquake. Seeing the miracle, seventy of the garrison soldiers were converted to Christ, at the tyrant's order, they were immediately executed, and Paraskevi was brought before him again. When she reiterated her urgent confession of faith, the saint was plunged into a bronze cauldron filled with molten lead. Yet here, too, her body, having received through virginity an ascetical struggle the first fruits of future incorruptibility, remained untouched. Thinking that the mixture was not at boiling point, the tyrant went up to it and was blinded by the heat of the furnace. Recognizing his fault through the painful consequences, he began to cry, Have mercy on me, O servant of the true God. Give me back my sight, and I shall believe in the God whom you proclaim. Through the saint's prayers, he received not only his sight, but also the light of faith, and at his request was baptized in the name of the Holy Trinity, along with all his entourage. Once free, Saint Paraskevi left the region to continue her mission. Finding herself in a town governed by a certain Esculapius, she was proclaiming Christ when she was arrested and brought before the tribunal. When Asculapius asked her to say who she was, the saint made the sign of the cross and declared that she was a servant of the God who created heaven and earth, who had offered himself on the cross for our salvation, and who would return in glory to judge the living and the dead. 
The tyrant had her beaten with rods, but the saint continued to glorify God. Her gaze turned towards heaven, and when Asculapius halted the torturers to ask her if she would sacrifice, she spat on him with disdain in her eyes. Beside himself with rage, he told the soldiers to flay her to the bone. Yet after a night spent in the dungeon, the soldiers found her once again unharmed. When Paraskevi asks to go to the temple of Apollo, all the pagans rejoice, thinking that she would at last agree to offer sacrifice. Once there, after long prayer, she made the sign of the cross, and all the idols tumbled down, making a great noise, and the people cried out, Great is the God of the Christians. The priests who were responsible for the idols were outraged and furiously demanded that she be put to death. She was thrown into a pit, but by her prayer she put to death the dragon and all the reptiles that were there. Realizing that all his attempts had remained totally fruitless, Asculapius sent the saint to another region governed by a cruel man called Tarasius. While she was healing all the sick who came to her through the invocation of the name of Christ, the king summoned her to appear before him, accused her of practicing magic, and had her thrown into a stinking pit full of venomous wild beasts. Through the sign of the cross, once again, this foul hole became like a fragrant spring meadow, and the saint protected by an angel remained untouched by all the other tortures they inflicted upon her. Unable to contain his rage, the king ordered that the servant of God be beheaded. Falling to her knees, Saint Paraskevi prayed with tears, confiding her courageous soul to Christ, her spouse, and asking him to grant the forgiveness of sins to all who would honor her memory. When her head fell under the sword, a heavenly voice was heard by all, welcoming the saint into the kingdom of heaven, a kingdom she had announced by her proclamation and the miracles that had accompanied her. From that time forth, fragments of her holy relics scattered in various churches throughout the world have not ceased to accomplish numerous healings, in particular those concerned with diseases of the eyes. to thee, O God, glory to thee, O heavenly King, O comforter, the spirit of truth, who art in all places and fillest all things, treasury of good things and giver of life, come and dwell in us and cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, be gracious unto our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Befitting my calling, O namesake of preparedness, Thou hast gained as thy dwelling, A faith worthy of thy name, O prize-winning Parascovi. 
and supportest our feelings and intercedest for our souls. Having traversed the depths of the Red Sea with dry shod feet, Israel of old vanquished the might of Amalek in the wilderness by Moses' arm stretched out in the form of the cross. O holy martyr Parascavi, pray to God for us. O, o Lord, in martyr fame, Parascavi, in thy supplications unto the Lord, pray that grace and the forgiveness of failings be granted unto us, who him thy light bearing memory. Holy martyr Parascavi, pray to God for Thou us. was revealed to be the beauty of martyrs, casting down the enemy's devices with the weapon of the cross, and wrestling with the harshness of the tyrants as an athlete in contest. Thou Thou didst preach the Christian faith. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The tyrant who evilly offered worship unto the idols, thought to destroy the firmness of thy endurance, O martyr. But by thy wise words all his pride was destroyed. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The word is born of thine immaculate blood, O Lady, receiving flesh endowed with a soul, and us who sleep because of the bite of the deceiver. He has formed anew with divine power. Thy church rejoices in thee, O Christ our God, crying aloud, Thou art my strength, O Lord, my refuge and my consolation. O holy martyr Parascavi, pray to God for us. The divine spirit strengthen thy weakness and show thee to be radiant, O Parascavi, excellently demonstrating the illumination of thine unsullied soul. Holy martyr Parascavi, pray to God for Made us. Made strong with the might of Christ, thou didst endure like an exceedingly firm adamant, the merciless scourgings of bull whips, O martyr of Christ. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Because because of thy love for God in the course of thy contest, thou didst patiently endure the rending asunder of thy body and the unbearably bitter torture. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Thou alone becames the provider of good things that transcend nature for those upon the earth. O Mother of God, wherefore we cry to thee, rejoice. Consecrating thyself wholly unto Christ, from thy swaddling bands thou wast continually most well pleasing unto him, God the Saviour of all the world. And thou firmly didst trample down tyrants' audacity, truly bearing thy terrible torments courageously. Wherefore Christ adorned thee with bright crowns and has brought thee to enter the heavenly bridal chamber in majesty, O praiseworthy Parascavi, intercede with Christ our God, that forgiveness of all their transgressions be granted to them that with longing keep thy holy memory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Thee do all generations of mankind bless as the virgin and only in womankind, who seedlessly brought to birth God incarnate upon the earth. For in thee is the fire of the Godhead come down to dwell, and thou sucklest the Maker and Lord as a little babe. Wherefore we, the race of man, with all of the angels, befittingly glorify the all-holy child born of thee, and with one voice we cry to thee, entreat thy Son and God that he grant the forgiveness of transgressions unto them that worship thy seedless childbirth with sincere and fervent faith. When the church beheld thee, O Son of Righteousness, lifted up upon the cross, she stood still in her place, crying out, As is meet, glory to thy power, O Lord. 
O holy martyr Paraskevi, pray to God for us. Since healings and gifts of grace and vision are thy Lord, O glorious Paraskevi, thou daily wells of divine grace is for them that honor thee in faith and have recourse to thy temple. Holy martyr Paraskevi, pray to God for us. Verily, having neither wrinkle nor any spot at all, and possessing holiness of body, thou beheld the angels with whom thou didst cry, Glory to thy power, O Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. What an astonishing sign, while portraying in a woman's body the dread day of the saving passion, thou beheldst the cross, the reed, the crown, and the spoil. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Without experience of wedlock, didst thou conceive, O virgin, and after childbirth thou wast virgin still. Wherefore, with voices never silent, and in faith and doubting we cry, Rejoice to you, O Lady. Thou, my Lord, art come a light into the world, a holy light, turning from dark ignorance them that praise thee with faith. O holy martyr Paraskevi, pray to God for us. Thou didst contend, O God, Paraskevi, and thou slewest the tide and thine all wise sayings, prudently proclaiming Christ before the judgment seat. Holy martyr Paraskevi, pray to God for Having us. Having a staunch mind, thou hast put to shame all the worship of the idols of the fearless spirit, using proofs from Scripture. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou hast deemed worthy of the spiritual bridal chain chamber and place of nuptials, divinely dancing for joy with the wise virgins, O celebrated Paraskevi, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages, Amen. Thee do we bring forth as an unbreakable weapon against enemies, thee do we possess as an anchor and hope of our salvation, O Bride of God. I will sacrifice unto thee with a voice of praise, O Lord, first Christ the Church unto thee. Cleansed of the blood of demons by the blood which for mercy's sake flowed from thy side. O holy martyr Paraskevi, pray to God for us. O venerable Paraskevi, glorious martyr, through the coming of an angel, the master with one divine stroke, swiftly did away the very great stone set upon thy breast and the nails piercing thy hand. Holy martyr Paraskevi, pray to God for us. We glorify thee as another first martyr, Thecla, preaching to all and enlightening many with the divine doctrine and bringing unbelievers to the godly faith. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The collection of thy divine doctrines flows from thy lips, dropping sweetness, and with boldness thou taught knowledge of all things. O Paraskevi, adornment of martyrs, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages, Amen. O wonder, stranger than all wonders, that a virgin without knowing a man conceived in her womb, him that has the care of the holy universe, and yet she straightened him not. Having found thy church to be a place of healing for our souls, O modest maid, are we the faithful cry aloud to render honour to thee therein, O righteous martyr, O Lord, did Paraskabi. When the voice of the bridegroom called thee as a bride, he adorned thee with the crown of incorruption, O godly-minded and most glorious Paraskevi. And as is meet, he has numbered thee with the prize-winners and the august martyrs. As thou makest merry with them, remember those who celebrate thy holy festival and gather in thy temple. For as we now stand therein, we offer hymns to thee from our soul, O righteous martyr, O lauded Paraskevi. O righteous martyr, O lauded Paraskevi, The children of Abraham in the Persian furnace of fire with love of piety more than with the flame cried out, Blessed art thou in the temple of thy glory, O Lord. O holy martyr Paraskevi, pray to God for us. Protected by the Lord before the tribunal of the ungodly, O martyr Paraskevi, thou patiently underwent the burning of thine armpits and didst chant, Blessed art thou, O my God and Lord. Holy martyr Paraskevi, pray to God for the us. The fire burned.
burned the transgressors, but did not scorch thee at all, O maiden, for Christ preserved thee unharmed, as when before time with mighty hand he preserved the children unafraid in the raging fire. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Since in truth the demon idols and gods clearly made neither the land nor the sky, let them perish, did you cry, but didst preach that Christ the Lord is the fashioner of all things. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Rejoice, O sanctified and divine tabernacle of the Most High, for through thee, O Theotokos, joy is given to them that cry. Blessed art thou among women, O all immaculate lady. Stretching forth his hands, Daniel shut the lion's mouths in the pit. And the young lovers of piety girt about with virtue quench the power of fire, crying out, Bless the Lord, all ye works of the Lord. O holy martyr Parascavi, pray to God for us. Proving that the idols are not gods, but the lying apparitions of demons, thou didst altogether dash them to the ground, and utterly grounds them to dust, and ceasingly singing with joy unto Christ, O all you works of the Lord, bless you the Lord. Holy Martyr Parascavi, pray to God for us. When the temple was shaken to the earth at thy coming, Apollo fell and the idols were destroyed by the power of the Immaculate Cross. Wherewith, being mystically fenced about, thou didst cry with much boldness, O all you works, bless you the Lord. We bless Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Lord. The pure Paraskevi, smitten with thy beauty and with longing for thee, O Christ, endured the searing heat of fire as she cried, on to the sweet smell of thy divine myrrh, I run after thee and rest not, striving patiently now in martyrdom and blessing thy divine name. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Thou alone in all generations was revealed to be the mother of God, O Immaculate Virgin. Thou became the dwelling place of the Godhead without being seared by the fire of the unapproachable light. Wherefore we all bless See, O Mary, all blameless bride of God. Christ, the chief cornerstone, uncut by human hands, was to united the two disparate natures, was cut from thee the unquarried mountain, O Virgin. Wherefore in gladness we magnify thee, O Theotokos. O holy martyr Parascavi, pray to God for us. This mutable life which is bought for a season has thou exchanged for that which is to come, O martyr, pressing forth to behold clearly the inconceivable beauty of thy bridegroom, wherefore thou hast obtained and defiled crowns, O beautiful virgin. Holy martyr Parascavi, pray to God for thou us. Thou heard the voice from heaven assuring thee that thy divine petition had been heard, O modest martyr, and thou didst eagerly finish thy course, and when thine honourable head was cut off, thou didst swiftly ascend unto him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Ask of Christ that victory over enemies, forgiveness of failings, and deliverance from adversities be granted to all who draw nigh to thy divine temple with fervent faith, O Paraskevi. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Thou art higher than the cherubim and more exalted than the heavens, O Immaculate Virgin Mary. For thou gavest birth to the angel of great counsel, who is co-beginningless with the Father and is the judge of all who is to come. With thy Lord's cross wast thou made strong, and in contending valiantly. O comely virgin and martyr, thou didst destroy tyrants' boldness, now that thou hast received from Christ the prizes of thy victory. O all-wise and all-marvelous, Parascavi, thou dost pray for us, who revere thee with longing. Wisdom, most holy mother of God, save us. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, thee who without corruption gave us birth to God the Word. 
the very Theotokos, the do we magnify. Glory to you, Christ God, O hope, glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Holy Father, bless. May Christ, our true God, in the prayers of his holy and all pure mother, with the prayers of St. John, the Baptist of the holy and all praised apostles, with the power and under the protection of the holy life-giving cross and all the holy bodiless powers of heaven, at the prayers of our fathers among the saints, Ninian and Cuthbert, the bishops of God, Sisoes, the great of Egypt, Brandon, the navigator, Oran of Iona, Columba of Iona, Kenneth, Ronan, Molwag, all the saints of all these islands, our protectors and our benefactors. At the prayers of the Holy Righteous Martyr of Christ, Paraskevi of Rome, with the prayers of the Holy Horror Martyrs, Hermolaus, Hermippus, and Hermocrates of Nicomedia, with the prayers of the Holy Martyr, Oriozella, with the prayers of our righteous father Ignatius, Styrionitis, with the prayers of the holy martyrs Apion and Jerusalem, with the prayers of our righteous father Gerontius, who founded the skit of St. Anna on the holy mountain Athos, with the prayers of our righteous father Moses, the Hungarian of the Kiev Caves, and all of those whose memory we keep this day, and the prayers of the holy ancestors of God, Joachim and Dana, and of all the saints. Have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and he loves mankind. Amen. And the prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen.